There we go. All right, what's up, everybody? How you guys doing? We got on her up against Discordia here. The RCS CX. We fought him like three times already today. We lost one of them though, so I think we're like two one against him. Got the boy on her. On her is great for just taking, you know, all your rage and curling into a ball, repeatedly bashing your opponent in the head with it. He's a very satisfying god and a very strong god. Yeah, I figure pretzels. It can be really frustrating uh, going up against Poseidon's uh, late game. <laughs> so this start is really strong on pretty much all the hunters right now. Going the attacker's blessing plus the uh, first tier of the, you know, life steal because they buffed. Um, this tier one it now has five physical power on it so adds to it quite a bit you're getting your devo sooner and you're yeah. oh how did that miss me Beware the shifting oh wow you was able, actually able to jump away from that in time it's a quick jump Had a feeling where the trajectory of that was going. Scordia's early game poke is really formidable, so you do have to watch out for it. And we don't have the mana to even like do a combo here if we jump and impale her, so. We're gonna just have to let her get it. They should fear me now. So you know what? Honestly, in this matchup, taking the chalice might have worked out better having uh, more pots against her poke style gameplay. But either way, I think it should definitely come out being you know on her winning matchup at the end of the day. But when you really think about it, get down to the nitty gritty, having the chalice there, maybe. Not a little bit more, but mana was still a big concern. But we would have more mana pots too. Mm -hmm. So yeah, maybe in that instance, given that her early pressure is very strong, it worked out better for us. I think she went and did her uh, move up there. She's a really fun god. She's a fun god to fight, too. She's really tricky, but not tricky in an annoying, like, Loki sort of way. They should fear me but in a way that's, like, engaging. She's got a slight lead here. She's got the uh, back cross finish. Holy crap. <laughs> that was something. First blood. Uh, <laughs> I guess the bits. I guess the bits did a lot to me there. The, the creeps, I you know, the creeps combined with the bits to, they should fear me now. to do a little bit. I was trying to go in for the big kill. Hard oof. Looks like she just backed. She had red buff. I, I'm pretty sure it was still on her. But uh, yeah, we needed to respect the fact that she was still up. Hmm. 
Definitely not showing enough respect in general right now. Underestimating um, the god just a little bit, you know? Not so much underestimating my opponent. I know that Arceus is uh, capable of playing at a top level for sure. Um, but, you know, definitely like when you're, when you're on, on her in these kinds of positions, you, know, you feel on it. You feel untouchable in a lot of positions. Oh, I'm really, yeah, you're still susceptible to uh, gods at this level. Careful, she teases through the wall. Oh, Beware the shifting sands. Oh, <laughs> he happened to throw it that way. What do you say to this? Not today. He can't three through walls, can he? Actually, he can, right? Beware the shifting sands. Alright, we're back. Yeah, yeah, she can jump through. It's a jump. More fury for my spear. Yeah, I'm still on super tilt from that last game, so I gotta... In, in these kinds of positions, when you know that you're, um... <laughs> being affected by, uh, previous games, stuff like that, you gotta just try to shake it off and play up to the moment. Beware the shifting sands. Ah, oh, I saw it coming. Tried to straight in, but not quick enough. That projectile moves very quickly. Who needs protections when I have such great And he was strength. able to hit everything there, and he's up. So, you know, fighting against Discordia, who has this kind of a lead. If she lands all of her bursts on you, she's going to be able to kill you. she got a very big lead now. Your middle tower is under attack. Beware the shifting sand. Damn, he's too healthy for us right now. <laughs> yeah, I haven't really fought a good Discordia yet, so it's cool to uh, to fight him in this context. I hope that uh, we still have a chance to come back into it. I mean, as on her, we really should. Beware the shifting sand. But at a certain point against anybody, if you let them take too big of a lead, especially with a big bursty mage, you're gonna hurt. Beware the shifting sands. <laughs> Your middle tower is under attack. Sad. 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 Killing one. Yeah, that's got me. Oh, I can pillar the ult. That's true. I actually forgot about that. Yeah, it's stopped by um, uh, deployables, right? Your middle tower is under attack. Yeah, let's see if we can de-tilt here and uh, untilt, which do which you guys call it, actually. Let me know. De-tilt, untilt. Untilt, right? Beware the shooting side. And try to take this one back. Uh, smart are on her record here. I don't think we've lost one yet. We've only played with them once, but still. That's a shining record. Beware the shooting side. Just a very large deficit. Alright, at least we have that. 
Oh. Oh, wow. That was good. That's upon you. That was definitely good. You gotta give him that. Who needs yeah, the call out through the wall there. Great We're gonna make a comeback of a lifetime, though. It's gonna happen. Feel it. Hmm. Second active, though. Not sure which we should go. Maybe she'll do it. Probably. Your middle tower is under attack. <laughs> Yeah, this is definitely like the best I've ever seen uh, RCS play. <laughs> Good stuff, Tim. We got a lot of damage off. Oh, that almost hit us on the way back. Nice, jumped over that. Oh, there it is. Beautiful. Nah, Tristan, you are regularly a dick in chat, to be honest. I think that seems right with the, uh, the call out there. And uh, the comeback is in full swing. That's all you need. That's the sad thing in matchups like these, man. That's all you need is that one output, and then suddenly you're back in it because, you know, you are the god with the winning matchup. Beware the I, I think you take it a little too seriously, dude. That's honestly what I think. I don't know why you get so salty. You like came up and tried to be my quote-unquote manager once and then ever I said I never heard from you ever since then and then you started showing up in chat and acting like you were my manager of plays you know <laughs> it's kind of weird definitely back off dude it's not wanted they should fear me now I kind of want to go blank. What? I pressed purchase. Yeah, yeah, he offered to be my manager. I don't know exactly what he meant. But... I, am the I, mean, I hate that it makes you taunt. It's almost killed. Woo. What do you oh, say he's still going for it. Really today. good play from uh, from Marcius here. Like I said, definitely the, the peak of his play. He's not letting us get that one off, you know? That one kill is not spelling disaster for him yet. Your middle tower has been destroyed. Because he's keeping a firm control on the buffs. That's really what it comes down to. As long as we hit everything, it just came down to our game, you know? That's like I said, unfortunately, these kinds of matchups that favor... <laughs> yep. Dude, Arceus has been on super tilt today. To be fair, though, that was a pretty sick outplay. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, unfortunately, when it comes down to the uh, the winning matchup in uh, a case like this, I need to do a lot less than he's got to do in order to win. And that's why, you know, you see guys like Discordia not picked as much. Um, she's still a great mage, right? But on her is just better. Your team has destroyed a middle enemy phoenix. 
but yeah, he's been on super salt mode. I, I feel bad that I... Now I'm mad that I complimented him this game as much as I did. Because <laughs> even at my worst, I wouldn't say that to him. All right, maybe, maybe at my worst. Maybe he's at his worst. We'll give him that. More fury for my spear. She's going for uh, the big pen now. That's really what she's uh, gonna rely on. I'm not sure. Maybe the divine ruin cost her a little bit, trying to focus on the anti heal more than the uh, the big burst. I dare you to sneak up on me. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, we saw it last game uh, with us being the ones at the helm with the losing matchup, and this game we see the reverse side of it. The only thing I like to do, though, you'll notice differently, with me in a losing matchup versus, uh, you know, some of the scummiest that we've seen in duel in, in a losing matchup, is I will try, or rather, in a winning matchup. Um, is I will try my best to always bring the fight to them. That's what Tristan was actually talking about before he got banned. That, that like, I consistently throw a lot. In instances like this, where I'm in the winning, you know, I'm in the driver's seat, they and I know this is a winning matchup for me, like, I don't want to over... I, I don't want to just press that too much and have to win completely based off of the matchup. So, like, I'll keep going at them when even, you know, I know that camping is probably the better way to do it there. up my own ass but but i do try to consciously do that at least because i know what it's like to be in the losing end of it and it sucks oh shit you died when I said that was well done. I could not pinpoint him, and then I realized he had thorns on, and it definitely scared me off. Maybe I should have still committed there, but my shell ran out either way when his two came up, so you know, he had it. Unfortunately for him, his back is still against the wall because he's got the fire creeps coming in. He's not going to be able to take my phoenix, but he will be able to take the buffs once again. The cycle of buffs is in his favor, so he should be able to keep that lead extended well enough. Hey, thanks a lot, Hakuzan. Hey, Derpy, thank you so much for the host. Really appreciate it. Hope you had a good stream. What happened to Ron Jobbert? Oh, it's a terrible story. Whoa, tragedy. I wouldn't even be able to tell it. <laughs> Alright, I guess we might as well put the pressure on uh, Bull Demon here. Beware the shifting sand. Looks like he's coming over to it. He's out though. Ah, uh, that was good. Buys him enough time here. And he was able to clear for the most part. That ability is so good, man. It covers such a wide radius. I try not to go frostbound in the in the winning matchup. Frostbound might have been better here, but so I, I definitely don't like going it in these positions. <laughs> He's trying to kill me with those bits. <laughs> Beware the shifting sands. But yeah, yeah, I, I do agree. Sometimes um, I don't think Frostbound's a win condition here. But to be honest, what do I go now then? I can go Poison Star. Um, I'm forgetting something. 
Ah, uh, there's something else I can go. I know that much. What else? I'm gonna go Poison Star, dude. I'm gonna fuck him up with Poison Star. I'm gonna hit him with it. It's not like he's that tanky, you know? He doesn't have that much health. He's only got one defense item. He's quite squishy, actually, so... Poison Star actually might work out well. I feel like it could be the play. I gotta try to bait out his, uh... His death thing more. I forget which ability it is. Red just came out. That's great. Nice, with the big slow. I always think that thing does damage when it doesn't. The pool that she leaves and invisibility. Beware. Oh, my bad. The sand. Oh, from deep. You have been extremely slain. Yeah, Ron got like laid off from Hyra's, I guess. I don't really know what the exact. That was good from deep too there. He is going to be able to take Phoenix here. Your middle Phoenix is under attack. I would hope so, Robert. Oh, you know what? You can't take it. That sucks. He didn't have the full wave. Kind of thought he did. I didn't have a pop there, choice. right? Uh, I'll take this. I'll take the board. In terms of Discordia, though, like I talked about, while, while I'm emphasizing that this is a winning matchup for on her, it's not impossible by any means for her. I'd say it's probably 65 on her favor. Um, and in the late game, it's probably... Well, at least in the late game, it's probably 65. That's what I'd give the end game analysis, because she's got a lot of potential in the late game. <laughs> Oops, not bad on that. <laughs> yeah, she certainly does. Beware the shifting sands. Oh. We get run like hell. Beware the shifting sands. The gem of ISO is doing a lot of work. We're not hitting enough crits. It sucks when you go into the crit item and you, you can only, you know. You're looking for one crit. You can't find it. Because your crit chance is so low. 20%. Beware the shifting sands. Here we might be able to hit the fight too Shit, just out of range. You be no different. Looking for. Beware the shifting sands. Is that right up? Yep. Okay, that's a big turning point for us. Yeah, on her voice back is probably the best in the game. Oh, she had blink right here, you know. Beware the shifting sands. Get him away. Ooh, this is bad for him. He pops the thorns. Oh, fuck me. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, that was at least... That was like half luck right there. Damn. His pathing could not have been more unfortunate. We found... We, we played at the heart of the cards there, and we just threw the autos where they needed to be. Damn. I'm glad we followed her so well. Like, see, like, I'm always happy when, you know, you end up winning the the winning matchup by, yeah, at least by, for the most part, your own devices. 
It sucks when you lose when you win it in a really shitty, shitty way. I mean, ended up, of course, you know, he he ended up outplaying me for the bulk of that game for, for sure, you know, and uh, deserved the win. Duel didn't give him the win, and we're not gonna give him the win, especially when he's that salty. We can't let him have it. GG.